You're listening to CILU 102.7 FM in Thunder Bay or worldwide on the web at luradio.ca. We are your campus and community radio station. What's up, Thunder Bay in Northwestern Ontario? Welcome back to Wired for Sound. We've got a great show coming up for you guys. I'm your host, Sarah MacArthur, and to my right, Jason Wellwood. He's the station manager here at LU Radio, and uh, he's going to be talking about the fun drive that they have coming up, which is really important to keep this place running, and uh, he'll tell you all about how you can donate, And because uh, we all know you listen to 102.7. So, but first we have a great show. Here's Noel Johnson from Calgary. I wait for a minute now. Two days and I wonder how. I'm a, from a small town outside of Calgary called Cochrane, so I always grew up uh, around small town people and uh, just never really uh, had a fondness for music when I was younger until I just so happened to get a guitar and. And I, I was, honestly just started playing over a summer and it just kind of came naturally to me. So it was uh, when I first started playing, I immediately started writing songs because I really didn't know how to play otherwise. So I wasn't really good at playing covers and stuff. So I've been writing for about nine or so years now. And I, I won actually two radio contests, both uh, uh, $10,000 each that I was able to put towards an album. And with that album, I had a producer by the name of Michael Bernard Fitzgerald and a guy named Josh Gwillem, and we went down to Nashville and hired studio musicians down there and uh, just re recorded an album down there. It was great times. video I did this past summer and we didn't really have too many nice days in Calgary so we ended up just having to shoot on this dreary sort of day and but uh, started about three in the afternoon until three in the morning and it was really cold but about halfway through I got uh, I started drinking and it was really great after that the director actually said to me so like, yeah you know what um, we should reshoot the half of the video that you weren't drinking and make you drink for it because we got way more out of you. You were just so awesome on on, on camera with that. So, but uh, it was a it was a weird experience. It's my first music video, but it was it was fun. Where would I go if I Keep on rocking, Ontario. independent artist and it's down here in this massive CD library at LU Radio and uh, I know one of the big parts of the fun drive which we talked about earlier is uh, to help revamp this place. That's right uh, not necessarily specifically the CD library but definitely the basement uh, if you take a look around our CD library you can see that uh, it's all bare walls and uh, bare wires hanging uh, there's no insulation that sort of thing <laughs> And uh, we're hoping that with some of the money raised, we can put some insulation here and do some soundproofing, which would be a big cost saver for both us and the university. Awesome. Now, and I know the fun drive, it's not just, it's not just the fun drive that you can donate. It's year-round, right? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You can call us at 343-8881 uh, to donate. Uh, you can also go onto our website at any time. We have PayPal through the website uh, at luradio.ca. Just click on the Donate button, and it'll take you right there. Awesome. It's one or two point seven. I know a ton of people that do actually have shows on this on that station, and it's awesome. I listen to it all the time. But uh, what do these red dots mean? That's what I want to know. The red dots they mean Canadian content. Canadian content. Thanks. Speaking of Canadian content, we have two thirds of Jeff Martin seven 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 coming up for you. Two thirds equals minus Jeff Martin. Check it out. Jay and myself have been playing in a band together for the last 10 years and uh, so we kind of, you know, just having different musicians in a band is going to change the sound a little bit, you know, so it still has that, that sort of rootsy Tea Party Jeff Martin sound with a bit of Australian rock. There's a bit more blues in there, isn't there? A little bit, of, a little bit more blues. A bit more blues and, you know, it's just kind of a interesting 
sounding style of music at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. So. Well, uh, the band that we were in is called Sleepy Jackson. So we toured America like 2004, like six years ago. And we did a couple of shows in Canada, but um, it was just Toronto and Montreal, wasn't it? Well, he, well, he did like two shows. I thought Cat we asked him to be in our band. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's how it kind of started out. It was like, Jeff, do you want to be in our band? And, I guess it kind of went that way. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, well, you know, don't really have any songs. So Strength in numbers. You can be in our band and we'll play your songs. <laughs> He had a few songs when we started recording and then we ended up supposed to record for a month and we ended up recording for another month and then another month and and uh, next thing it's like this was July last year so we're in there for like six months and uh, so some other songs, we wrote some other songs mm. while we were there and got an album's worth of songs. Yeah, Jeff Rocks, very yeah. talented boy, he's got a set of pipes on him. grateful of of Jeff's past. He was a very you know, prolific songwriter and a successful career so we don't we don't ignore that so we definitely in the live shows we acknowledge acknowledge that by you know, we play a few tea party songs but we um, like Malcolm and I we purposely haven't listened to the, the, the way the tea party would play it because we want to put our own spice in there so you know, we are playing tea party songs, but we try to make them very much our own. Oh, there it is. You know what, every once in a while on Wired for Sound, I like to listen to a little jazz, folk, rockabilly. And you know what, you may be asking yourself, what is that? Well, guess what? It's the Good Lovelies. They're actually in town. I got a chance to chat with them and listen to their music, and they actually really are quite lovely. Coming up later on in the show, we're going to have Jason Wellwood bringing you What's Up in Thunder Bay. But first, check out the Good Lovelies. So the song you just heard from the Good Lovelies was Made for Rain, and the title of the album is Let the Rain Fall. Now tell me about this album, guys. I, I just love the cover of it. How did, <laughs> how did this come about? We actually, we have a friend, uh, she's a brilliant artist, Julia Hepburn in Toronto, and she does these dioramas that are about a, a foot square or so, or she does them in little lanterns, it's all made of Fimo. We I just love her work. So this is a diorama? Yeah. It's a diorama, and we were just thinking we wanted to do something a little different uh, than a photograph this time, and thought this she she's might perfect. do something really cool, and she did. <laughs> so, well, it is, it is yeah. really cool, because I know you have, that, you have your actual picture on the back mm -hmm. as well. And then if I flip it around, there that's the diorama. That's so cool. There's 13 tracks on here. Now, do you guys do all your own writing? We do. Uh, there's just one cover on there, uh, Chaos is Crab, Crab Bucket. Bucket. But what? yeah, otherwise, it's all everything we wrote. We all, all three of us write, so we each have equal parts. We're very diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, um, um, Crab Bucket, tell us about that. How did that come about? <laughs> well, it's a song we did a couple times in a, our live show, and we thought if we're going to do a cover, we should do a cover of a Canadian. And then, yeah. uh, Chaos is from my hometown of Whitby, Whitby. Ontario, so there's that connection. But we really, we, it, we, when we redid it, it's obviously different from his version, but it's it's very much in that like swing style of the 1940s and 50s, which suits us a lot. So uh, it just became a natural fit. And in fact, we recorded it not intending necessarily to put it on the album, but it, it happened and uh, yeah. Has, it was great. Has he heard the track? I don't know. <laughs> but our, our good friend Fred Penner is playing a show with him, Chaos, in oh. Toronto next weekend. So we're going to... 
send uh, Fred with a CD for, for Chaos, so I'll hopefully you'll hear it. I bet you'll love it. <laughs> That's us too. Say. <laughs> so, so, and, and you play the banjo? I do. We, we actually all play everything except for we, we're oh. traveling this time with a, a, our, our first man lovely, uh, Ben Whiteley. Man lovely. And the only, the only thing we don't play is the upright bass, but once in a while he lets us play his electric bass. Cool. And we all play the guitar, banjo, mandolin between the three of us. So, so you all alternate. We do. We have cool attention deficit disorder. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't get bored. So do you, do you guys ever fight over who's going to play what? Has it ever happened? Have we ever gone? Have so. you ever thrown down a hat? Dropped a hat? No. Except, <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> at the fin hall. <laughs> Come see the good love. I'm gonna throw a pancake at someone. Corona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and another uh, question: What mm. what do you guys what do you guys have on your iPods? What, what do you guys oh, listen to? Oh, good question. I spent Lately? the entire day listening to the Decemberists and like, I, every record. Mm. And I spent the entire day listening to Mumford and Sons. Oh, nice. Sue, what did you listen to in the front seat with Ben? You guys listen to the Beatles. Mm. A little, little bit of little bit of smooth jazz. Smooth jazz. It's <laughs> true. Sure. Actually, that was my playlist last night. I played a lot of smooth jazz for these guys. Which I think they really come. enjoyed. <laughs> to say I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. It was a good <laughs> And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you doing the interview for us here uh, for Shaw TV. And uh, have a great show tonight. Um, run out and get uh, Let the Rain Fall by the Good Lovelies. You won't regret it.